Next up is Craig Chester. All right, Miami, we're going to move beyond the automobile tonight. And if you go all the way back to 1916, we had a streetcar network in this city that was the envy of the developed world. You could step out Miracle Mile and Coral Gables and be downtown sipping a martini on Flagler Street in 12 minutes going at 70 miles an hour. We would love to have that era back. And in that era, we had shared spaces. Our streets function as shared spaces where everybody was treated equally and expected. Cyclists, pedestrians, transit users, cars. This was a safe, vibrant, economically valuable place. But we threw that all in the garbage after World War II when we built that, which created that, and we systematically destroyed downtown Miami and created a city not worth caring about, a city of parking lots and expressways. <clears throat> but Miami today is changing and we're recolonizing, we're re-energizing, we're reinvigorating our urban core like never before, and that's partly why we're all here tonight. catch my breath. But in the midst of Miami's urban revival, we have a serious problem, and it's that vehicles, motor vehicles, are damaging the human living environment. And I could talk about the natural environment. We all know that. But it's the human living environment that's perhaps more immediate. Every day, headlines in Miami are about hit and runs, pedestrians hit, cyclists mown down, and enough's enough. And there are very simple ways we can change it to make our city for people rather than for cars. This is what our streets look like today. Forget about that shared space of 1925. We have a place where if you step off the sidewalk, you could get killed and never go back. And that's our public realm. This is how you have to exist in our city, and it's not right, and we can change it. Cars are also a bad use of space in the city. We have every corner of our city clogged up with cars along the roads, along the empty lots, where we have very simple technologies that could free up space for people instead of cluttering our city up. So just in short, real quick, you know, we're a very deadly city for pedestrians and cyclists, fourth most dangerous in the USA. The automobile does a bad job of moving people around the place, and motorized traffic undermines the livability of the city. So what do we have to do? We need a total transformation of our streets, and it begins with valuing the activity that adds value to the city, and that's human activity, pedestrians, cyclists, and, and, and public transit users. <clears throat> And the best cities get that right, Bogota, Colombia being one of them. Enrique Peñalosa is the former mayor of Bogota. He said, you can have a city that is friendly to cars or a city that is friendly to people. You cannot have both. And right now, we have a city that is way too hostile to people. <clears throat> Simple things we can do. Selectively reclaim some streets for people, pedestrian plazas like they've done in New York City, bike boxes, pavement markings, protected bicycle lanes so the cyclists are protecting or the, the cyclists are not protecting parked cars, rather the parked cars are protecting the cyclists and raised crosswalks. 30 bicycles can fit in the space of two parked cars, bike, and, and it's a safer place to lock up centrally. Bike boulevards to help novice cyclists navigate neighborhood streets and bus rapid transit so our buses function more like trains than buses. Fortunately, we have some good things coming to Miami, car sharing, which will come to the mainland. And bike sharing, Deco Bike is one of the most popular bike sharing systems in the whole United States. Coming to the mainland soon. This was a quick project my organization did called Transit Miami Downtown. We took a surface parking lot under the Metro Mover on Biscayne Boulevard and made it into a place for people for a week. In February, this was called Bayfront Parkway, Meet Me in the Median. And we had all kinds of great activities all week. So people said, well, what about the loss of parking? Well, Lewis Mumford said it best, where basically he said, if everybody has a car and you provide parking everywhere, then you've actually destroyed the city. And we did that in the suburban sprawl era of Miami, but we're not going to do it in the urban revival period. <clears throat> Some people say that bicycling is a myth. It is a fringe activity in Miami. Tell that to those thousands of people that take place, group rides uh, all the time. And businesses are catching on, too. Businesses are catching on, too. 40% of U.S. adults surveyed said they would bike to work if safe facilities were available. We've got to make our streets safer. And so you don't have to be a mega commuter either. 40% of trips are less than two miles. That's a 10-minute bike ride. I mean, it's nothing, and we can, we can make our streets more livable. Another myth, traffic will be a nightmare. You're right, traffic does increase, but it's human traffic that increases, and that's the kind of things we should do. And this is New York, New York. And if they can... Do it there, we can do it anywhere. It's up to you, Miami, Miami.